Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. You are here with Morris at the end of the last part. We were 40 fathoms deep, as the game keeps reminding us, because we keep dying and having to go back to the load menu. And I just jumped down here the last time. So I kind of want to be a little bit more careful this time, but honestly, I was looking around before the episode started, and I honestly don't see a way down. Um, I'm not sure where it is I'm supposed to go. Unless there's a, uh, a lever back in the other area that I can hit in order to fill this place up with water, maybe? But I'm honestly not... not so sure. Because there's no ladder down. None of these ladders work. Like, there's absolutely nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna... I guess do a little backtrack and see what we can see. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Is everybody having a good day or a good night or a good evening I don't mind I don't mind which it's weekend so you know I'm quite happy over here <laughs> I'm always happy when it's weekend uh, so in the last episode I was talking a little bit about like video game movies and how there are none that are worth mentioning really um, but something that I've never really I guess looked into. It's not that I've not got into it because I'd like to. Uh, can I even get back up here? This doesn't seem like it's the right way, but I'm gonna try anyway because I'm stubborn. Um, yeah, there might be a switch in here now. I don't know. But uh, one thing I wanted to mention was a video game like literature. And I use the term literature rather lightly. I don't expect, you know, novels or anything like that. Just good old-fashioned... Wow, it came right through the middle there. But yeah, just good old-fashioned stuff to read about games. Um, and I mean, like, you know... I do mean stories. I mean, like, fiction that goes around different games. I know there are a few Resident Evil books, and I know there are Assassin's Creed books. Again, Assassin's Creed, a good example of... You can just do whatever with it, really. And it's fine. <laughs> Although I think there's a, I think there's novels about Altair and about Ezio, isn't there? Or at least set in those times. Hmm. I think Ezio definitely. He still remains, you know. He's still the mascot, isn't he? Really, of Assassin's Creed. He's still the kind of pinnacle of that series. I'm not seeing a switch here. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. So I guess we'll head back down. That's a nice camera angle. Thank you. Um, oh shit. But, uh... Is there any other... Oh my. Is there any other levers in here, maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of staggered now. I can't see where I'm meant to go here. Anyway. Yeah. So I know that, I know there's, you know, different books of different games. But I wondered if there was anything out there that people would actually genuinely recommend. There's no doubt a lot of trash. I mean, sometimes you get... I, whenever I go into a, a bookstore, you always see, you always see the amount of like Star Wars books there are, and you look at them all and you go, you know what? There is no way in hell that I'll ever be able to pick out something decent. The odds of me picking out a piece of trash here are almost 99%. <laughs> it's just so unlikely I'll find a gem. Um, so I never actually bother, but it's again just something that I would. God damn it. Just something that I really, I don't know, want to get into. I need to read more. I always say I need to read more. I never do. Ugh. Maybe it's me wishing I was somebody else. Somebody who did have the time for it. Somebody who did have the patience for it. I don't know. How did I get to this place in the... I thought I just jumped on it. Oh, I did. Oh, for the love of Christ. <laughs> Is this happening? Okay, that's all this episode is now. Just getting onto this ledge. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. ah. A fine cupper. If I do say so myself. So there are no levers in here. To do anything with. Anything of note. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hang on. That switch I pulled earlier. What if I, uh, what if I pulled it again? Maybe it'll change something in this other area. Now that I can actually access it. 
Probably not. Wishful thinking, but it's all I've got to work with. No, don't push. Oh, come on. She's locked in. She's locked into it. Nothing I can do. My hand is off the controller. All right, come on. What I would really like to see is more video game TV. Because given the length of... Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I say that, but given, given the length of... Uh, the only reason that makes me think of it is given the length of games. Generally, it's like maybe TV would be better suited to it because you could kind of expand on the stories a little bit more and have a little bit more action going on in there. Trying to convey an entire game in, you know, a two-hour film. Not even that most of the time. It's very difficult. I don't think that lever actually did anything there. Gosh dang. Okay. Well, I'll uh, go with plan A and just go back in here again. Kind of amazed I made that jump. <laughs> Oh god, this episode is nothing. If I can't find a way, I'll just cut to when I eventually do find a way. But I don't want to... Whoa, okay. I don't want that to take too long. Look at that drop. That's crazy. There's no, like, section there where it's all water or anything. Like, where am I right now? God, there's some weird atmosphere stuff going on as well. Alright, I'm going to save it again, even though I haven't done anything. And then I'm going to find the way down, or find the way to progress. And then we'll cut back, shall we? Because this is just, this is crazy. Alright, see you in one small minute, guys. Okay, I didn't see this room before. I don't know, if, I don't even know if I've been here. But there's a little thing in the ceiling there, so maybe I can get up here. <laughs> don't actually know. This might be nothing. I might have just cut to another load of nothing, for all I know. Oh, it's so not clear which ones you're going to fall off and which ones you're not. Yeah, it's all one texture. This is just the biggest copy-paste job I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so I can get on that one, apparently. Can I get over onto that? Maybe with a cheeky hop, skip, and a jump. Nope. 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 Alright. That's possible. You can totally get on there. Not from this side, though. Okay, this must be the way. You know what? This is this is going in. Until I prove that it's not the way, this is this is what we're going with. <laughs> no doubt. People banging their heads against the keyboards right now. Waiting for me to figure it out. Maybe a run jump across to there might do it. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Unless I did come from here, in which case it is a big waste of time. Alright. Any enemies? We haven't seen some for a, a good while. There is nothing here. Oh, it's a switch. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I... What did that do? I just raged and left this room. Hmm. That'll be it. Playthrough over. But yeah, I don't know what that did, but it must have triggered something back here. As long as it's not enemies. I, whoa. I don't mind. Oh god, back to this again. Just make it. Just make it first time. Yes. Yes. Alright, this must have maybe dropped a bit more rubble down here. Again, I don't know who built this place. I don't ask the questions. Ah, yeah, fill it with water. Well, that'll, that'll do. I guess I'll save it here again. This is the third time I've saved in this position. <laughs> ah. Mmm. Great dive, Laura. God, my tea is gone. That's how long this took. Alright, so what horrendous creatures of the underworld have I... Uh, underworld? No, underwater have I, have I released. we got a door over here, which doesn't open. I assume there's another lever knocking about somewhere. 
I said I assume there's another lever knocking about somewhere. Then again. Wait. There's totally a guy behind that door. Look, I can see his friggin' face popping through it. <laughs> he really, really wants to get in here. Well, I actually really want to let you in, but I don't see... Oh, got it. Yeah, again, this lever could be staring me in the face. I have no idea. Seriously, I'm just trying to look at the middle of every single panel in this room, and I cannot, for the life of me, see a lever anywhere. Is there a way, like, down, hidden here that I can't see? No, there isn't. Just where I fell to my grisly death. God, that's weird that I can't see it. I apologize, guys. Maybe I'm just being super blind. But am I missing something here? Am I missing something real obvious? This is the only way we can go. Unless, oh god, there must be another switch that I friggin' missed somewhere, shit. That's not cool, this is not good. This is not a great level for us. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and do another sweep. It might have been in that room. There may have been two. Alright, I'm gonna cut again, ladies and gents. <laughs> I'm gonna find that switch. Oh, it's in here. There you go. That's a room I completely missed. Sorry, I may have just hit the mic there. And I've released the underwaterman. Alright, I guess we're back. <laughs> oh man. I uh you know what? When I started recording, not what I not what I had planned. Not what I had planned to sit here and try and find one switch for like twenty minutes. Oh, but again, determined not to look anything up. So I feel good that I found that. But yeah, it all looks the goddamn same in here. I'm sure you can sympathize just a little bit, given that all... It's like, look at this corridor, for example. Alright, maybe we can kill this guy without even leaving. Can they shoot us from the water? I can't remember. Oh, he's hiding down there. He doesn't want any peace. Alright. In that case, I'm going to save it for a, uh, a record fourth time in a row in the same goddamn position. And uh, maybe I'll try and swim past him. You know, if I can help it. So I don't have that many harpoons, and I kind of want to save him. But something that may be a little bit... Can't get in. Maybe a little bit more threatening than one harpoonman. And it'd be really helpful if I didn't keep getting caught on the corners here. That'd be nice. Get out of there. Oh, there's a guy with a shotgun in here. Well, that's good. That's a nice surprise for us. All right. <laughs> Not too sure how I'm supposed to deal with that if he's just going to kill me as soon as I get out. Maybe the Uzis. Maybe it's time for the Uzis. Well, I don't know. Let's 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 test it out. I got caught there. I was kind of looking for secrets. So love, just, there you go. Just get in and get gone. Might be a different story. Look at that. That is quite incredible. What just happened there? All right. I'm gonna have to do this, and then I'm gonna have to immediately go back in and select something else. Here we go. This ought to do it. There you go. Wow, those shotgun guys are lethal. <laughs> How long have you guys been here? You're all super ripped. Which makes no sense if you've been here a long time. Oh, these hide goons. Thugs are us over here. Alright. Um, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna heal again. I'm not sure where I am in this level, actually. We have two out of three secrets, so you're kind of thinking maybe maybe I'm actually towards the end of the level, so I don't want to... I don't want to heal for no reason. Alright, what's on here? Oh, there's a harpoonman! He's back! He can shoot out of water. Oh, God. Alright. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Oh, more harpoons. Nice. Nice. 
door. Switch. Look at that. Much simpler. Thank you. That almost feels like a reward for all that crap I just did. <laughs> oh, that is the end of the level. Oh, I was right. There you go. <laughs> shame that I missed the... Uh, shame that I missed the one secret. Level. Still. I'm pretty satisfied with that. We only healed a couple of times. Only got mauled by a shark once. That's a good day in the life of Lara Croft. I think there's a... I think there's sort of... Four, maybe five major locations in this game, and they all take place over the course of about four levels. So this is almost like... Well, this is a, it, I would say this is two... This is the second out of four potential underwater -y style levels of this type. You know? So if it took one and a half parts to get here, plus added time for me looking for stuff, that's... that's this is going to be probably the longest playthrough in history. Certainly on this channel. Alright, what do we got? More harpoons? Nice. Straight in there. More underwater combat. Who doesn't love underwater combat in old janky PS1 games? <laughs> ah, it's the best kind. Ooh, full med kit. Uh -huh. Alright, I don't want to stand too close to the edge there. Lest I take a harpoon in the back of the head. Which may very well happen. I'm gonna slide down here and this fall is this uh sorry, this Yeah, no, the fall, I'm gonna fall onto some like rubble and we're gonna fall even further. Up. What? How was I supposed to avoid that? Wow, I'm in some kind of where am I? Atlantis or something? What is this? It's like some ancient underwater bathhouse or something. Maybe they gave me that full med kit just because they knew that would nearly kill me. <laughs> so yeah, let's just take that as a freebie and save it up again. I don't. I, I didn't honestly see a way out of that one. All right, let's move on. I hear something. Oh god. I hear someone. Oh shit. Oh shit. What is that gun? God, they have so much health. Oh, he had the automatic pistol. Right. Well, he didn't really. It was almost like a submachine gun. No fair. You, know, you get to use weapons that I can't. Uh -huh. Where was that in the rules? Oh, two. You know what? I forgive you for giving me those two small medkits. Okay, so there's a thing here. Ooh, another medkit. And there's a thing from over here. So I'm going to take the underwater bit first. If nothing else but to get it out of the way. You know what? Fair play to, to, to these old Tomb Raider games. Because actually the underwater combat in inverted commas combat. Isn't that bad if I actually chose to do it? And the swimming controls are really good. Really solid, like, maneuverability. And, and apart from, like, occasionally getting caught on the uh, on the corners, which is a little annoying, but it's something that, that comes with the territory of these old games. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's fair play to Tomb Raider, I think. For, oh, God. For getting it right as far as these underwater sections go, because how many how many games can you honestly play and tell me that you enjoyed or that you felt in any way comfortable when your character had to go underwater? Oh, at least that one was nice and easy. Oh come on. Wow, that's a lot of guys. Shit. He's not even he's just jabbing me with it. What the hell? Oh there's Wow. Okay, enemies galore in there. Oozy time. I do have an M4 or an M60 or an M... M something. But I feel like that's... Maybe we want to save that for a special occasion. Like a boss. Like a boss fight with a shark or something. Even though I can't use it in the water, but still. M16. There we go. 
I knew it was something glorious. Alright, gimme gimme. I mean, Sonic. Old Sonic is the classic I example. Of when you go underwater and you just fear for your life all the time. But I felt like, I felt like that was part of the game. In this one, it, I missed the switch again. In this one, it's not so much part of, like, fearing. Because you have an incredibly... <laughs> Generous oxygen meter. But uh, I can't think of how many games really afford you that much. Oh, I got pinned again! Look at that, no messing around. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Is that guy wearing a baseball cap? Backwards. He's far too muscular to go for that kind of... <laughs> That kind of attire. Ooh, large med kit. Uh -huh. Very generous with the healing in this level. And I can kind of see uh -huh. why. And Uzi ammo. This was the perfect choice. Oh god, nine small med packs. Stunning. I hope this was the right way. <laughs> I hope I don't actually have to go back. It's kind of annoying that every time you select something, the menu closes. Like, as soon as you heal, it closes. As soon as you select a weapon, it closes. And as soon as you save, it closes. So you can't do all three of those at the same time. <clears throat> I can't remember in which game they actually learn from that, either. Oh, this has to be moved. In order to get up there... All right, well, I'm going to check the walls again for a switch. But I reckon maybe we'll come here a bit later. And I say check the walls again for a switch, because you never know. There might just be <laughs> hidden fucking... The bra it's, it's because they're all brown as well. And this level's kind of that color most of the time. Frigging... Not only are there switches everywhere, but they're frigging camouflaged. Freaking octo camo on these damn switches. Hey, say what you want about MGS4. I loved octo camo. <laughs> I love that suit. It was the greatest, stupidest thing ever. Whoa, okay. Okay, Mr. Camera. Try not to freak out too much. Look at this minimalist environment here. I love it. Alright, am I looking at anything here? Nope. Just a dark, dank hallway. And another one. Alright, there's gotta be... Uh, that can be moved. Can it? Ah, maybe I have to move these. There's a couple of blocks here. That's why this space is here. Alrighty. And I'm still holding on to the flare. That's impressive, Laura. Oh, God, they're everywhere. All right. That's what this space is clearly for. The thing about these areas is you never know whether you're going to pin yourself in. Like, I never trust these old games. With, <clears throat> with little puzzles like this, I honestly never, ever trust them. I don't know whether I'm just going to box myself in. like trap myself out so it can't be completed. <laughs> it happens. Man, fair play to Lara. I couldn't move this shit. <laughs> I could not. I would not be any good at this. Oh, hello. Well, that looks like a way. Where the hell am I? There's like an underwater mansion. What a mansion. Oh my god. How did he follow me? Oh, he just clubbed me there. Yeah, I need to take the advice of my comments and start side flipping and back flipping all upside their heads a little bit more. 
I can still hear footsteps as well. I don't know whether that's back upstairs. Oh no, it's there. Got it. See, I try and use that tactic a little bit more than just leaping around. Doesn't always work though. <laughs> try and get behind him. Blindside him. God, I feel like I have to save after every encounter. Alright, what do we got? Look how fucking retro this is. I didn't even notice this. It's like a it's like an old CD player. Look at that. With the sound menu. <laughs> hey, we used to have to walk around with these. Oh, and the old controller. Oh, you can't get a close up there, but still. That's what it used to be. It's not too different now, actually, but still. It's got a lot of extra shitty buttons that we don't need. I hate that they removed the start button. I know it doesn't necessarily matter, but start just feels like... I don't know, it's almost like a ritual. You know, press start to begin. I'm using it right now. See? <laughs> It just feels like that definitive, mmm, I can stop and start the game with this thing. Options doesn't do that. Options is, because there's no start button, there's no like universal rule for what the options button and the touchpad does on the PS4. I miss it. God forbid you accidentally hit the share button. I mean, I use it to stream on Twitch, but sometimes I just hit it and, ugh, I hate having to wait. I hate having to wave my own clumsiness. This is rather grand. Right here. I don't know what the hell we've stumbled on here. The geography of this place is not especially clear. Can I actually get up any of these ledges? I don't know where... <laughs> I don't rightly know where I am at the moment. Can I get up there? No, that seems way too... Yeah, that's crazy. Gots to be a way up. This looks like a potential way up. Whoa! Okay. Maybe not a way up, but there's a way down. Into there. Alright, this warrants another save. <laughs> so there are no windows. So who put this glass here? Who arranged this glass here? Oh, God. Oh, come on, what? That's not a... <laughs> That's... Why is that there? Ugh. That was great. <laughs> Thanks, game. You're really rewarding my curiosity today, aren't you? <laughs> God, you really feel that as well when that connects. Okay, but how am I supposed to... Because I can't... There's no crouch, so I can't get under there. Oh, hello. Can I shimmy on the ins... Oh, no, I can't. Right, I know what I have to do. I think I have to walk through this glass. <laughs> this is so risky. And then... Yeah. There we go. Oh, a key. Oh, wow. This is not even a secret area. Uh -huh. And then I should be able to just... Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice work. Nice work, Laura. Even though technically it was all me, but still... That was a key. That was a key for a keyhole. I feel like this is an appropriate time to point out we have seen zero of those so far. Unless I'm missing one. Oh, it was the other side of this. That's why I was confused. Yeah, no, I don't remember actually seeing any keyholes anyway. Crap, there's glass there. Oh. It's not on here, is it? That'll be a bit of a... Troll? No, it isn't. 
Alright, scour this room again. There's gonna be a lot of this. There's gonna be a lot of... <laughs> going over the same rooms over and over again. What is that key? It, it doesn't really matter, it's not like Resident Evil. Restroom key, alright. It's not like you, in, you can inspect doors and things. Oh, hang on, can I get on? Ugh, I don't know, I'm looking for like a raised platform, but that's not really raised enough, is it? Maybe here? Maybe here? This is very subtle if it's right, but... Yep, this is it, this is the way up. Nice. Please don't fall down, Laura. Please don't fall down. I don't want to do... How? How the hell am I supposed to get across? There's no keyhole. Look at this beautiful artwork. Look at this pixel art right here. Technically, it's pixel art. You know I'm right. Alright, if I'm really cheeky... I might be able to... Oh, I can do it. I can just shimmy across. <laughs> oh, very satisfying. And there's a dead guy up here to welcome me. Please give me an item. Thank uh -huh. you. Alright, I think there may be... Yeah, I can definitely shimmy across there as well. There might be other items. Come on, give me something good. Probably nothing. Alright, I'm going to scour this area a little bit more, but uh, I'm going to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's something. There's something over there. I don't know if I can make this jump. And that glass right there is certainly starting to make a bit of sense. Maybe to punish those players who try and make this jump. Are we going to be one of those players? Nope. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm going to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Tomb Raider 2. Uh -huh. And please do join me for the next part, guys. I will see you in a little while. See you later. What is that? Circuit Breaker, just what I wanted.